We're starting the new year with lots of resolutions. And this year's resolution is to eat healthier. I'm making a gorgeous butternut squash, frike and kale salad with pecans and cranberries and pumpkin seeds. The perfect salad to start the new year. To start off, I'm going to cut my butternut squash in large wedges. And you'll notice that I'm not peeling the squash because once it roasts in the oven, the skin will soften and add a nice layer of texture and flavor to my salad. I'm cutting each wedge to about a centimeter thickness. Drizzle some olive oil over the squash, season with salt, and pepper. I'm just going to turn the pumpkin and do the same on the other side. And now these are ready to go into the oven. I preheated it at 200 degrees Celsius and I'm going to roast for about 15 to 20 minutes. I want it to have a nice golden brown color. Next, I'm going to rinse my frike. This has already been soaking for about 30 minutes and now it's ready to be used. Add some olive oil into your pan. Saute your onions until they're translucent. Once the onions have softened, I'm going to add in my minced ginger, minced garlic and saute until fragrant. Add the frike. Fry until it's toasted. And measure two cups of chicken stock. And allow this to simmer away until the frike is cooked and all the excess liquid has evaporated. In the meantime, I'm going to start preparing my kale. I've already washed my kale and I'm simply going to remove the leaf from the stem. Kale can have a very leathery texture, so I like to finely chop it and then I'll season with some salt or olive oil and massage the leaves together until it softens and it has a nicer texture to eat raw. I'm going to just put my kale into this mixing bowl. Season with some salt and just massage until the leaves soften. Once the frika is cooked, turn off the heat and allow the grains to cool. For the salad dressing, I'm just going to combine some olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon juice, some honey and mustard. Season with some salt, black pepper, and whisk the ingredients together until they've emulsified.
Now that all components of my salad are ready, it's time to assemble. I'm gonna start off by adding the kale on a base of this beautiful platter. 